Professor Bitch. Is the gear we got yesterday awesome or what? Right? Mr. K sure knows how to kick things up a notch. <laughs> FYI, I had a teeny bit of input in the overall design, for which you're welcome. That oaf wanted the same style for the whole class. Glad he vetoed the Irina. It's cute, just not super functional. Yeah, well, at least one of your teachers understands women. Blockhead couldn't even be bothered to get me a present. Huh? Oh. oh, no, of course. October 10th was four days ago. Huh? Professor Bitch's birthday! Before I came here, I had legions of sugar daddies falling all over themselves to buy me expensive things. Now, if it doesn't come from him, I'm not interested. What the hell is wrong with me? And why haven't I been able to get a hold of Lovro? Being alone sucks. Professor Bitch, do you have a little time to go over some more conversational francais? Do what? Oh, that's right. You had your heart set on working overseas. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I meant to say we. Mm, well, all right, then. Take a seat and we'll... Actually, oh. the weather's so nice, I was thinking we could uh, do this outside. Uh, but why? Come on, it'll be fun! Man, those two are lucky to have us around to push things along. We're a go. The fox and the hound have been separated. We'll keep our fingers crossed for the birthday present squad. All right, let's do this. Now, what exactly are you supposed to get someone who already has two of everything? It's not gonna be easy. Everybody pitched in. Not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Question is, will it be enough to buy a proper grown-up gift? Hey, over here! Huh? Everything end up okay with that man? You know, the old-timer on the bicycle? Oh. You're the flower guy who called the ambulance. He managed to forgive us after a couple of weeks, yeah? Uh, thanks for helping us out. No sweat. I'm glad it wasn't as bad as it looked. Beg pardon, I couldn't help but overhear you're in the market for a grown-up gift? Yes. Yes, we are. Well, what about something like this? Oh, I get it! A bouquet! In this day and age, we can have whatever we want. But flowers are still the go-to gift of choice. Why do you suppose that is? Hmm? It's not just about romance. Their color, their shape and scent. The fact that they don't last. Flowers are an ideal metaphor for the human condition. Oh my, you're a persuasive salesman, sir. Quite the poetic little speech. That calculator part of the symbolism? <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to make a living. So, uh, you in? I'll cut you a deal. It's flowery fate. Mm -hmm. hmm. <sighs> wow, then what? Is there some magic word that brings a Frenchman to his knees? <sighs> What's with you today, Toka? You've never been so enthralled. You're hanging on every word. Well, yeah, I want to learn French. Hey, miss, can you play piano for huh? us like you did at the hotel? Come on, Professor Bitch. Let me draw you in one of your killer poses. Hold on. I asked her first, you know. Uh, what's the deal with these brats all of a sudden? I'm so popular. Ha! Don't fret, my little darlings. There's enough Professor Bitch to go around. Just don't get turned on. That would be crossing the 
the line. It's a very nice bouquet of flowers, don't get me wrong. But why me? They'd mean so much more coming from you. Uh, can somebody actually be this clueless? Mr. K, please. Uh, Look at it this way. Professor Bitch is a vital asset to the mission. All in a day's work, sir. Winning over your colleague can only help things, right? <laughs> Just let her think they're from you. Cool? I see your point. Very well. I'll do it. Thanks for your dedication. <laughs> Hey, we just do this again soon, yeah? Wait, I... Come on, you don't all have to leave at the same time. Well, damn, how do you like that? Ugh, nice, absolutely perfect. I'm right back to being Miss Lonely Hearts. Hey, Karasuma, you won't believe what just happened. Those self-centered... Oh, Irina, good timing. Uh, what is this? I know I'm late, but happy birthday. Wait, these are for me? And they're from you? Sorry I let the actual day slip by. Things got busy. No, it's fine. I'm delighted. Thank you so much. <laughs> you old dog, I thought you forgot it. Is this real or is there something up your sleeve? I do want to mark the occasion. This is the first and last of your birthdays we'll celebrate together. Oh, don't be silly. What is that supposed to mean? Just what it sounds like. Stands to reason, yes? Either the mission's going to end, or the world will. <laughs> One way or the other, in half a year, this will be over. <laughs> hmm? uh, oh, hey there. Well, we're screwed. I figured you had to be behind this. A bouquet of flowers, huh? Like the square would think of doing something like that for me of his own will. You enjoy yourselves? Stringing me along so you can watch a pro assassin get her pathetic little hopes up? That's not the case at all, Miss Irina. The children's intentions were utterly pure. Save it, Octorazzi! Hmm. Who gives a damn? This is a business relationship, nothing more. I've been so caught up in my role, I've forgotten who I really am. You've opened my eyes. Best birthday present ever. Thank you. Hold on! Professor Bitch, please! Not to point fingers or anything, Mr. K, but that was kind of cold of you, don't you think? Don't tell us you still haven't noticed how she feels! You kids don't really believe I'm that oblivious, do you? Huh? I'm a heartless bastard for good reason. Emotions can't be allowed to get in the way of what needs to be done. We're professionals. If her feelings for me can dull her blade, then she's not qualified to be an assassin. That's all there is to it. But, Mr. Karasuma... Ah! I am so pissed off right now! Karasuma... To hell with that! More like Krapsuma! Damn it, it's hard to say! Maybe... Maybe it's time to leave. What's left for me here anyway? Nothing. Not with what I'm capable of. After that, Professor Bitch essentially disappeared. She hasn't been here in three days. Mm. We really crossed the line this time, guys. Well, I'm off. You can call me if there's any news on Miss Irina. Meanwhile, there's a football tournament in Brazil I must attend. So... Okay, then. Guess he's out of here. What's the deal with him and soccer all of a sudden? In Typical once-every-four-years fan. What happened to baseball? I'm starting to get worried. I just hope she's okay. Yeah, no. Not much luck getting through. My GPS mm -hmm. scan is coming up negative. No matches on the closed circuit feeds either. Seriously? You don't think she would leave over something like this? I'm sure that can't be the case. After all, there's still something important you need her to do. Yes, exactly. Plus, she knows we like having her around. Right. You children have bonded rather nicely with her. There's no denying that. You see, my preliminary reconnaissance confirmed as much. Your connection gives me something very handy to exploit. Huh? It was so... so casual. He walked in like he owned the place. Hello. I'm the assassin commonly known as the Reaper. 
And today, boys and girls, class is going to be fun. Hmm. <laughs> What the? Uh, it's him. A flower tends to throw people off guard. There's hardly a soul alive immune to their charm. Remember my sales pitch? Nagisa, you were taken in. But you see, there's a reason flowers evolved into such lovely fragrant varieties. Ritsu, would you bring up the image I sent? Their purpose is to draw insects. Is that Professor Bitch? I'll cut to the chase. It's simple. If you want her to live, show up when and where I tell you to. And yes, I mean the entire class. Not a word of this to your teachers. Of course, I can understand if you're not comfortable with those terms. If you'd rather not come, there's always the option of sending her to you. In tiny individual wrapped pieces, one per student. If that's the preference, fine. Though one of you will likely be my next flower. Huh? We didn't see him coming. That's when it dawned on me. What scared me most of all was not being afraid. Okay, first off, we got no obligation to save that pushy bitch. So thanks for playing, but no dice. Second, what's to stop us from beating the piss out of you right here and now, you kidnapping bastard? A bold assessment, but entirely wrong. The woman means more to you than you know. In fact, I suspect that if you were to let her die, you'd be beside yourselves. As to your second point, no human being is capable of taking down the Reaper. Conversely, human beings are the Reaper's preferred prey. Come to the location shown on the map. Arrive as a group at 6 p.m. and tell no one. Huh. Exactly like with Takaoka and Shiro. They want to take us hostage, draw out Koro-sensei with us as the bait. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> we using these? Huh? We're doing this to protect someone. So, yes. I don't care if he's the greatest assassin who's ever lived. We're not about to let that oily SOB's plan go off without a hitch. Gotta be the way in. Bird's eye loop around's negative. There's no sign of anybody close by. Makes it more ominous. Okay, Ritsu. If we don't all make it back here by midnight, tell Koro Sensei what's going on. Got it. Good luck. Be safe, everyone. Let's go. A space he's got. <laughs> Is that all of you? Good. Watch the doors. <laughs> ah, you like to keep an eye on us, huh? Kind of kinky. Reaper peeper. All right, sure. Why not? Look, we've held up our end of the bargain. So give back Professor Bitch and let us get on with our lives, okay? <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, the whole room's going down. Uh. Trap is complete. Ensnaring you as a group is the best way. Saves me a lot of time. Uh. Professor Bitch! Uh. Oh. Uh. No worries. If he comes quietly, no one gets killed. What about if we, like, resist or something? Would you be mad enough to kill us then? Oh, relax. It's pitiful how scared you are. Uh, sorry, I can't really do much about it. Here! This section sounds hollow! A fitted charge? A few smokescreen capsules! Oh. Oh. oh! Yes, good! Make it fun! Okay. Moment of truth's upon us. Hello, E-Class? Can you hear me? Nice work! Honestly, I'm happy you escaped. It'll be a good warm-up for the real game. I expect great things. I knew it. It's a game to him. This isn't some vindictive act like with Takaoka. It's different. 
He's an unknown quantity. Hmm. Seven to one. Huh? Mm-hmm, indeed. Letting XY stand for seven to one gives us a lovely math problem. Minato, set the hour. Let's go! Let's get it Oh, dear me. I seem to have angered the locals somehow. Did I insult a sacred custom? <laughs> I ought to pick my heart's brain on this. He knows soccer. We're sorry. The number you've dialed is out of range. Uh, Iso guy then. Perhaps Hinata. Uh, or Tarasica. I have a bad feeling about this. We'll intercept him here. Whichever way he decides to come from, we'll still have him outnumbered, so stay alert. Ritsu, we need some backup, okay? Yeah, not feeling it. Be realistic, like I'm gonna go up against the Reaper. I'd rather power down than, like, do stuff. Ritsu's, Ritsu's been, been hacked! hacked. Uh, he's coming. Huh? I can't make him out. What the? How is he doing that? Take him down! Dumbass is walking right into us! Hand-to-hand <laughs> 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 -hand combat was the first skill I honed as an assassin. So, as you might imagine, I'm rather good at it. A talent 99% unnecessary in this profession, but... Without it, 1% of my quarry would survive. If you want to be a killer, it's an indispensable tool. Take my word for it. Uh, females are so fragile. Don't expect me to handle the rest of you this delicately. Everyone, stay back. Leave this guy to me. Are you out of your mind? She's all right. That crunching noise was the sound of her gear absorbing the impact. Still, though, the Reaper thinks her ribs are cracked, which really pisses me off. When I'm like this, my bloodlust demands satisfaction for all of us. With these hands... Uh? Whoa! <sighs> well, damn. This isn't gonna work. The classic stunner clap. Yours and Lovro's might conceivably startle a cat, but in sufficiently skilled hands, the move can accomplish quite a bit more. Human consciousness has a frequency, you see. The higher the peaks, the more sensitive one is to stimulus. When your prey is in a particularly agitated state of mind, powerful enough sound wave can work wonders. Of course, they'll be startled, but that's hardly all. Oh, oh no. The voluntary nervous system will be temporarily paralyzed. This is... This is top-level stuff. Huh. So, that's it? Well, okay then. Except I seem to be short a few of you. Professor Bitch! You're in charge of taking care of her. Man, I always get stuck with the grunt work. Okay, let's rendezvous with the others and get the hell out of here. Yay! What a relief! I thought for sure she was a goner. Yeah, right? Uh. Um, Professor Bitch? <sighs> How lovely to finally be myself. Six whole months of sleep before my prince came to wake me. Now then to put you brats out of commission. What are you talking about? This can't be real. Time for your final lesson, boys and girls. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I stepped on a rock barefoot. Please, come on, miss. Let's... Not cool. That was a dirty trick. We were actually worried about you there for... Uh... Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Blame it on the experience gap. I've seen a little bit more carnage than you punks. Hmm. Already? You took him out all by yourself. I was only following your advice. 
There's no point throwing in with a bunch of snot-nosed know-nothings. Glad you've finally seen the light. They're only children, after all. For all the good they are to us, they might as well be from another world. They breathe clean air, we breathe blood mist. You there. What'll it be, then? Will you come quietly, or stand your ground in a losing battle? Ugh. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, bring it on. Ethan and I will kick your crazy ass. I surrender. Huh? If we fight, we're toast. This guy's on a whole other level. You're kidding me. It's like you said. If we lose today, so what? All we gotta do is win once. Be patient. So now what? Listen, buddy, I don't know what your big plan is for killing Koro-sensei, but I wouldn't count on it going smoothly. Oh, don't worry, I'm a gifted improviser. That's my job. I can work with bad intel as well as good. Hmm? Huh? Karasuma? <laughs> Why is he here? Probably the octopus. He told us once if there was ever a wall we couldn't get over. He'd take over from there. We're gonna be okay. I've got their scent! Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't I tell you? In this clever canine disguise, I'm a natural. There is absolutely nothing natural about what you're doing right now. <laughs>